Hey everyone, it's me, Alexis Mudd from the Randolph County Farm Bureau Ag in the Classroom program. Today, we're going to explore corn production with Kent Leifer as he explains to me how their operation works. start around Labor Day weekend for us with our maturity range on our corn. So the week or so leading up to that, we'll start scouting our corn fields and taking samples and we'll take them back to our shop at the farm and we'll uh, shell it out and we'll use our moisture tester and test it to see where we're at for our harvest ability at, at a certain moisture. We typically like to start in that 22 to 25 percent range and that way we can manage it with our drying system and then um, we can store it that way. So with your drying system, what does that do? Can you explain that to me? So you? with our system, we have a, a couple wet holding tanks that feed our dryer and we, we uh, dry down, or we, the dryer fills, heats up the grain to, to a certain temperature that we have set and then it's a continuous flow as it's coming in the top, the hot grain comes out the bottom at a set temperature that we like to shoot for depending on the moisture level of the corn and we put it in the bin and we cool it down in the bin for, uh, for storage. So what we have in our cab right here is an ag leader monitor. We use that uh, to uh, track our yield it's hooked to cell service, so our both combines can talk and we get more accurate yield data. They, uh, whenever you're getting shutoffs and row, row shutoffs, we can calculate better uh, yield data because our, with our yield data, we overlay that with our soil fertility and we make fertility recommendations off of what we removed along with what our soil samples t tell us what we're, what we're lacking. Bushels per acre is what we would consider yield, so with corn, um, depending on the, the environment you're in, yield could be anywhere from 140 to 180 or 180 to 220. A lot of it's soil type or part of the county you're in, because different parts of our county have different soil fertility and soil um, yield, yield potential. Average weighs 56 pounds per bushel. That's what the elevator uses as a um, base weight, and so yield is based off of that. Soybeans would be 60, wheat would be 60 as well. and or soybean crop where um, the yield is pretty determinant on the weather whether it's at planting or throughout the growing cycle or even at, at harvest weather can be um, play a significant role in in our crop you know we need drier conditions to plant into you don't want to plant in the mud because you can create some compaction where the roots won't won't grow right and the plant won't um, won't uh, start off correctly and throughout the cycle you the plant not only needs rainfall, it also needs adequate sunlight as well. Yield is the determinant from sun and from rain. The plants have to have the sun with, with photosynthesis. What are some other complications that you have with grain storage? So with grain storage, you really want to watch your, your temperatures of the grain, because if, you, if the grain is too warm and when you're storing it, it can tend to um, get out of condition and can lose grain quality and or just lose some grain in general in your bin. So you always want to make sure you're maintaining uh, proper grain temperature for storage for long-term longevity. That way and then you can 
take it to the elevator at the proper, proper temperature and quality. Part of our daily routine on equipment maintenance is uh, we blow the equipment off the combines especially to keep the dust off of the equipment and bearings and we grease them and service them. It's just part that way we, and when we're greasing we're, we're inspecting the machine to make sure there's nothing going out of condition as far as bearings that, that could cause a fire or be, be unsafe. Um, but with, with the blowing of the dust off, that is key because grain dust is very flammable and can cause fires if an ember la lands on it, if you've got a bearing that does go out, which it's, it's inevitable, it happens. We have hydraulic leaks with, with equipment that wears, things rub, and it's just part of it. We're constantly inspecting the equipment on a daily basis. Well, I hope you all had as much fun as I did exploring this farm tour. Hopefully you were all ears during our video and thanks for joining us.